on the quest for a state title. Welcome back into sports, everyone. Yuma Catholic Baseball has fallen in the past two state semifinals. This year, the Shamrocks are determined to go one step further, entering the 3A state playoffs at 14-2 and, and as the number three seed. Our own Chaz Messman joins us now with more. Well, we set our goal to our state championship every year. And we've beat the, the the now one and two teams that we would face in the semis and the finals. And we believe if we're playing good baseball, we can beat anybody. The Shamrocks fell in their final regular season game. And in order to make a serious run at the state title, they need to find consistency in big games. We've tried to do our best job this year. We've really struggled with coming off big wins and having a letdown. So but we just try to make sure we're doing as a team is making sure that we are... Um, taking it one day at a time. The Shamrocks are set to face the Safford Bulldogs in the first round of the playoffs. And the Bulldogs present a unique challenge for the Rocks. Uh, I think the, the lefty's going to be the hardest guy that we're going to have. Is that we, because we haven't seen a lot of lefties this year, only one lefty. So I think that's, that's going to be the hardest part. I think we need to score like in the first couple innings because the games we haven't been doing good, we've been slacking in the first couple innings hitting. First pitch at Yuma Catholic between the Shamrocks and the Bulldogs is set for tomorrow at 4 p.m. And now moving to our top plays of the week, coming in at number five, Kofa Baseball down by a run. Fabian Burgos and Jose Castro with back-to-back -back doubles. The second one driving in Burgos to tie things up against Yunker. And on top of that, they did it on senior night. Extra special there. Moving on to number four, Yuma Baseball needing a win to clinch a playoff berth. Bases loaded and Antonio Huerta Urbolejo finds the corner in left for a bases clearing double. Three run score as the Crims would earn their first postseason berth in over a decade. Back to Dean Stout ballpark for number three, Ryan Rosas hitting a high fly ball out to center field. That'll go over the outfielder's head. Castro scores and Rosas' RBI triple sends the Kings to the playoffs for the first time since 2017. On to number two, pop up to center here, Addison Duke. Calling for it and then laying out to make the diving catch for Gila Ridge softball. Lady Hawks end up losing this one, but they are still alive in the 6A playoffs. And to Petco Park, we go for number one, Jesus Eriola up for the Southwest Eagles. He lines this out to right center, but how about Miguel Cano diving with an incredible catch for the Calexico Bulldogs to end the inning. Cano making plays and Fernando Tatis and Jackson Merrill's outfield, and well, they will be proud of that one. Definitely got to take another look, and while we do so, remember, if you have any plays that you'd like to see featured on our Top Plays segment, you can send it to me via Instagram or X at Luis Lopez CBS 13.